Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Cupertino scaffold and Cupertino navigation bar in Flutter. So let's start. But before starting, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and like the video. So this is the project I have created. So we have this man method which is uh, calling this my app class in this run app method and uh, in turn we have created here a material app widget and which is calling this my home page and this my home page is in turn calling this underscore my page uh, class which extend a state now we will return as you can see that the return type of this build method is a widget so we will return Cupertino Cupertino scaffold page say scaffold page scaffold and now I'll use this I'll put semicolon here so that error goes away now if I click on this and uh, I'll import a cupertino dot dot file now I imported that if we go to the top you will see it there now you can see it here cupertino dot dot file and now this is showing an error because we have to use some properties inside this so we will use navigation bar and we will create Cupertino navigation navigation bar and we're gonna use this and here we can use a property called medal and this medal will take a text widget and in this text widget uh, we can use Cupertino demo now the next property we're gonna use here we will come out of this uh, navigation bar and uh, uh, we will use here child and in this child we will use list view and now I'll use parenthesis so I'll make this uh, navigation bar constant so space and now here I'm going to create a, a Cupertino button so we will use the children property of this uh, list view and now uh, first I will create a Cupertino button so button and I will use parenthesis and now control space and uh, here I can pass in the child property so for child I will use text and this text will take uh, so just do not use uh, text in this child I will use uh, icon so I'll make this uh, a constant and then I will use icon and here we will use Cupertino icons dot and control space and then I'll use this add and now we will use the uh, on press uh, property of this so I'll put a, a comma here and now I'll use a on pressed control space on first and here I will use a parenthesis and curly braces uh, I'll use it here curly brace closing curly brace and now I'll go here as here and we will create we I have created this uh, underscore count uh, 
integer which is equal to 0 and now here and this I will use uh, set state control space now I'll enter and here I'll um, use underscore count plus plus semicolon and now I'll go down and here I'll use um, outside this Cupertino button I'll put a comma and then I'll use center widget and then inside the center widget I will use a child text and in this text I'll use uh, you have pressed button now here I will use dollar underscore uh, count and then times and I'll put um, a comma you can put a comma here but if you do not want to put it here so it is okay now if I run this so now the app is running so let's go and test it now I, I, I click on this icon button plus so you can see your button uh, press button one time and now if I gain two times three times four times and so on so that's all for today uh, I hope you like the video and you have learned about Cupertino um, navigation bar and Cupertino scapegoat please like subscribe and comment thank you